Hello, Libra. Welcome to your mid-December to January read of this current year. How y'all doing today? Lovely. Mwah. Love your face. Anyway, Libra and Cross Watchers, this is for the sun. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose, away it goes. Because there's no reason about worrying about shit that has nothing to do with you, right? Because, you know, that helps. Anyway, um, if you want a personal read, any newcomers, all the information is in the description box below. First reading's on the house, everything else comes with the price, and I do take tips and donations. So, check it, right? These three fell out while I was talking, and I'm not counting them right. One, two, three, my dear Libras. Someone's got some secrets that they're ready to reveal. Something about an ace of pentacles and then like a lack of healing in the star. A wish that's not being granted. What in the world is that about? It's like somebody's holding back the idea that um, they were wishing for an offer and they're about to reveal that shit. You know? Anyway, let's go to your reading because, like, that was a surprise. Someone will get some shit out of that, hopefully. Oh, yeah. I like naughty words. So, like, if you don't, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the best person for you. But I got jokes. And I'm at least a seven, so you know, like, there you go. <laughs> uh, pile driver to the heart. That's the how you might be vibing or your energy right now. There was a magician who decided to stick his finger in someone's drink and poison them or manipulate them somehow. Let's see. Five of swords and the wants and wishes. Manipulating the head games. Libra and Crosswatcher, whoever this is, is like they're walking away from pile, pile driving somebody to the heart. Right? Obstacle and challenge, someone's got the secrets. The High Priestess has popped up again. Fears or rejections, the angry mom type. Right? Huh. Angry mom. I don't know why, I just thought of something with that, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway. Uh, endless cycle with the eight of pentacles as how this shit starts, how it will end, how the cycle will come full circle. Granting a wish, if you please. Someone made a wish with the nine of Cups. Yeah. Might have put him in a sticky situation now. Mm. Mm -mm. That sucks. That always sucks. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, well, that was quick. Esther just popped up. Her back is turned. She's busy with shit, making sure her statue has the perfect tints. Because that's what's important when you're queen that you're emulated with perfection right she's just minding her own fucking business when this pile driver to the heart comes up man like ultimate heartbreak and betrayal um something didn't work the way it did before what ignoring something didn't work the way it did before like minding your own business like i don't know something to do with like Maybe somebody even learned something when they were a kid the way the parent intended because Esther's like an el much is a, a more mature woman or an older woman, so you know. And Queen of Wands is. Let's see. Um, I mean, she's not looking to pick a fight either, so it's like whatever. But um, here is the Knight of Pentacles reverse. He's not delivering something, and maybe that's what didn't work. Maybe something wasn't given. Or something stagnant, slowed down, yielding with an offer. That's weird, Libra. Mm. 
Something didn't work like it did in the past, so there's not an offer being made. The Queen of Wands just has her back turned to it, working on her own shit, right? This magician reverse is the situation, but it might be a situation dealing with him where he's like manipulating and poisoning this cup. He's facing a burden. So it might be a very naughty magician. It might be one of the ones I talk about. <laughs> Let's see. Um, it's a burden to fucking be a nice person. Or at least give a little bit, right? And... He's looking for somewhere to go because he's feeling a bit claustrophobic. There's a lot of trappings. There's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of not being able to see where the fuck you're going, right? This is some really inspirational music right now. Nah, it's kind of cool. Let's see, wants and wishes, right? Five of swords, playing the mind game. You're good at that, Libra, I have to say. Uh, but nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares, that tower could be struck a million times, no one's gonna give a fuck. Even if it doesn't come down, it doesn't matter because everybody knows. It's you or a cross watcher. Like, I don't, well, I don't think this is you. This is probably somebody you're dealing with, Libra, or just the situation in general. But it's like, it doesn't matter what mind games are played. Like, people already fucking know, so nobody fucking cares. It's like, oh, yeah, we already know this. We already know this. You know? Um, and it's an aggressive battle to face because people know this. What the fuck? Or maybe you want... Uh, like, it's like you want something exposed or you want to play something, but it's like, them or you, Libra and Cross Watcher, but it's like, someone wants to play head games, but it's already an exposure and it's like, it's overwhelming. Like, if you, if you went in the battle someone in a mind game, you might get overwhelmed because they already know how you play. Or maybe you're hoping that of them when it comes to you. And that might be biting off more than you can chew, honestly. Like, don't be doing that shit. Don't, that's a bad idea. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't do that shit. Do not do, like, keep, refrain from... Someone's saying that, like, refrain from thinking that you're smarter than me. I don't know who the fuck said that. That's like something some, something my mom would say, honestly. Don't ever think that you're smarter than me. You will never be smarter than me. I'll crack you in your head. Like, you know, that's my mom. <laughs> like, that's something my mom would say. Like, you, that's something my dad would say. Like, it's like someone's overestimating somebody else's, um, brain. Libra, you're usually good with the mind games, but if somebody knows your tricks, like... Is that gonna be... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if this feels like you, but I don't know if it is. So forgive me. You know, switch where need be, I don't know. But at the same time, you know, like, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but not really. Anyway, let's see. The High Priestess. She wants to reveal some truths and secrets that have been bestowed upon her. About someone who has been waiting for her to get her ass back in the house, apparently. That's the obstacle and challenge, like revealing some sort of truth to somebody who's stuck in the house, waiting for you, heartbroken. About something that they find out. So it's like, okay, the obstacle and challenge in the wants and wishes, right? You, Libra and Crosswatcher, or the person you're dealing with, right, wants to play the head game so they don't have to deal with the shit that they don't want to really talk about because this is like exposure. This is like truth, right? This is like somebody like actually being honest about a situation. But the problem is, is like the person knows you too well or you know them too well to know how you're bullshitting. And it's even worse because they're letting you dig your own hole. 
by revealing to you at some point they already know what the fuck is up. Like, if you play these head games, it's just probably gonna, like, fuck yourself even more. It's not even that like it's pissing the person off. It's just the simple fact that, like, you know... You're just making it worse for yourself, honestly. Like, if you come up open and honest with the High Priestess revealing the information... Okay, like, this person probably won't be nearly as, uh, untrusting of you as you would imagine. But if you come up with some bullshit right here, if you come up with some, like, stuff, it, 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 there's not gonna be a revelation because this person's already gonna know. Whoever this is. Libra, Crosswatcher, or this is your person. One of the two. Um, Alright. Fears and rejections is Empress, right? She's unhappy. Um, she looks like she's riding somewhere probably to argue with somebody. Or she's going somewhere distant to, like, say something about a victor or someone who was victorious. Who is a sneaky bastard. Okay. Cool. I'm not sure how I feel. Or is a thief or something. Um... No, 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 She's pissed because this... Libra, they could see you as this, or Libra, you're seeing this, right? But either way, someone ran away like a coward, not saying shit about how they were victorious about being a sneaky bastard, right? They could see you as this, Libra and Crosswatcher, or this is how you see them, one of the two. Um, I'm picking this up more as you, but... That's beside the point. Just switch shit up. I, I really don't know, man. Anyway. Endless cycle. Self-fulfilling prophecy almost. Eight of pentacles reverse. An old ass relationship is no more. And there might be gossiping and bullshit going on. Possibly with somebody who's a little older and possibly senile. You don't know what the fuck's going on, but you tell them shit because it'll get them riled up and they'll be on your side automatically because you're the favorite grandchild because um, you murdered the rest. Not really, but you know, you will in order to get that status though because you are the favorite after all. Um, ooh. Did someone gossip that like this relationship was, um, yeah, um, not good. You could see from a distance it was bad, and, like, that's why you left it, but now it's like you can't move on because, you know, uh, nothing compares to you, you know, and then, like, there's no communications or anything, and, and it feels like you might be a little bit controlled. Yeah. This is, um... Leave my crosswatcher, you or your person might be, um, or might have, either or, it really doesn't matter, but someone might have, like, bro split after a long companionship, doesn't have to be romantic, of course, but, you know, either or, bro split from a broken companionship, now there's a lot of gossip, now there's a lot of shit being said, especially to those of the older grief about how someone's a bit of a junkie, or, like, they're addicted to something, or they've just lost who they are, they're not trying to start anything new, and they're kind of a fucking freak when it comes to control, like that kinky shit, don't kink shame them, though. Because that's not cool. What is this wish? Bad judgments. Ew. I feel like that's punishment. Someone's wishing for fucking punishment upon it? That motherfucker is. That what the... Wow. Labor and cross watcher. Like, you are mad. Did someone like mm -hmm. I feel like there's also a fear that someone's gonna try to come and plunder you and they're gonna be victorious and that's why they take off. Or maybe it's while you're gone they uh, doing your own shit, they live in your best life that they come in and take things from you. 
Let's see. What is the energies? Clarification, please. Someone tries the tricks of the train and they just, like, you know, fall the fuck over. Like, they trip over the sphinx head and break their horse's leg. The horse gets put down because they're an idiot. Nobody likes them anymore. Their dick's soft. You know, like the, like the normal shit with the knight of, you know, wands right here. Trying to impress in order to get, like, partnership. Like sharing something. Like, you know, like, look, I just want to tell you that this is also mine, too. You know, like, give me the fucking ball. <laughs> but it's unsuccessful, I think. I think they trip up on their own tricks. I feel like they were trying to show off too much or were acting a certain way. You know, like when kids, like, get excited and new people come over to the house so they gotta impress them somehow or they wanna show them how awesome they are. Like, that cute little shit. Let's see. Down low in the situation, and em the Empress is definitely not happy. She's a little bitchy right now. She's got a sourpuss on her face. Because mm. she falls for temptations with the devil? Or she recognizes that this is temptation right here to connect with this person again to give to this person oh, okay okay this is like you're, it's like almost Libra and cross watchers it's almost like you're tempted to want to help somebody when they come to ask for it but that's a bad idea that's gonna lead to you just having to hang on to somebody it wasn't really necessary um, wants and wishes this person does not like being single or whatever at all really out in the cold really broke possibly like yelling at grapes because like they don't grow right but is unable to really like let go of anything even though death's been sitting there on the bus with them the entire time they just keep riding around he knows if he gets off that bus He's done, so they're just sitting on the bus. Going nowhere, you know? Down below in the obstacles and challenges, um, someone wants to open up, but they know the other person is on guard. And they're looking stupid just drinking their cup on their horse, you know? Acting like they're okay. But they're look but it's like, you know, they're looking somebody in the eye I almost feel like just being like, look, I'm just fine. But it's like that's weird. If you're fine, why are you looking somebody in the eye to make sure you see that they believe you? Like, you know. It's one of those weird things where it's just like you're kinda creeping me out a little bit, bruh. You know? Let's see. Fears and rejections, y'all. La 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 la. Not even knowing some shit's happening in the background. Like, people, like, there are forces of good and evil or um, whatever it is. Do y'all remember that show called Good vs. Evil? Where it was, like, every episode, like, either the good guy or the bad guy would win. But it was never the bad guy who won. And that's what pissed me off. It was supposed to be, like, it's supposed to be good versus evil. Evil wins sometimes, damn it. I want to see, like, I don't know tanks and shit and chaos and the world blowing up like villains are supposed to do like I, I don't know that was just the thought but it was like it's one of those things where like whoever wins it really doesn't matter but you don't know that it's like it kind of going on either like people are at odds about you but there's no communication hold up one more Okay, people might be battling about you in the background, Libra and Crosswatcher. Or this is like what you're doing with this person, but there's like a battle here. But there's no communication going on, and this might have you or your person feeling like they were left to drown by somebody. And someone's guilty about that. Whoever left the person to drown, they're guilty. 
Or at least that's how the person who is getting drowned is perceiving it. But they don't know that anything's going on in the background either. They have no idea that people are fighting with their swords. Having sword fights and such. Hint, hint. But not in that way, unfortunately. Let's see. Last round. How this shit starts. How it's going to end. Someone's got to drop their feels. Release them from that cup, right? Just let them go. And this might work. This might work in their favor. I'll drop one more. Fuck it. But someone is not throwing their... Not carrying somebody else's fucking swords. They don't give a shit. Just like, bye, bitch. Like, all on the fucking ground and in the water. She turned around like, what are you doing? Um, you're on your own. I I'm getting back in my boat and going back where I am. You know? Hmm. How interesting. Well, Libra and Cross Watchers alike. That's the end of the reading. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You can got to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. I love your all's faces. I will see you next time. Please take care, because I don't know what's going on here, but it's like some crazy tasty shit with somebody who thinks that they're smarter than you, I think. And no. They, it's almost like an, hmm, I'm not, I'm not sure, it's like, I don't know, it's like they won't leave you alone for something, or they expect something from you, but, that's the end of the read, I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.